A Cricut is a hobby grade vinyl cutter that can be used to do decals for a boat. Here's how I use one to redo logos on a Carolina Classic 25. First we measure the existing label to know the size that we need to recreate. Once measurements are done, we can remove the worn out decal. We start by using a new razor blade to remove the decal. By using the correct angle, we can remove the vinyl without damaging the boat. This is a slow process that requires some patience. After about 5 minutes, we can get the old vinyl removed completely. The next step is to remove the old glue from the decal with an eraser wheel. One of these is available on Amazon fairly cheap. If an eraser wheel is not available, WD-40 and a plastic scraper can be used. Now we need to thoroughly clean the surface to prep for the new decal. Rubbing alcohol or glass cleaner works fine for this. We are using Oracle Outdoor Vinyl on a white grip 24 inch mat. Since the original decal is larger than 24 inches, we will print this in two pieces. We won't stick the vinyl until we are ready to print to avoid contaminating the mat. We managed to get a logo made in our photo editing software. This is what we will be using in the Cricut software. We can now let the Cricut cut the vinyl. If you were curious, we are using a Cricut Explorer Air 2. For an item this large, a Cricut will take approximately 3 or 4 minutes to cut. Once the sheet is complete, we can weed out the unneeded vinyl. This is done by carefully pulling away the unused parts. Then to finish the weeding, we can use our pick. Now we can apply the application tape. This clear film helps with applying the decal. Once applied, we need to squeeze out all the air bubbles. Then the excess can be cut away. Since there is ghosting on the boat, we can use this to help align the new decal. Now that we're ready, we remove the backing paper and start to stick the decal. This is a tedious process that takes some patience, and you need to get all the air bubbles out while you lay the decal down. Now the transfer film can be removed.
we can now install the second part of the decal. The end result looks something like this. 